A, B, C observation. This is not looking at the alphabet. I promise. It's not looking at the alphabet. It's an antecedent behavior consequence observation. It is an anecdotal observation that you would use in, an, uh, in a very applied setting when you're trying to understand what the functions of a behavior are without doing a full-blown experiment, right? So you get a good hypothesis about what the what the function or the, the, the reason that a behavior is occurring. Um, these are types of things you'd use in the classroom all the time. Why is little Johnny out of line? Well, let's do some ABC analyses and find out, or observations and find out, right? So you record the antecedents. Under what condition did the behavior occur? And what was the result of that behavior? What did it get the kid, right? Um, so you write the time. On, on it as well, maybe the duration and some other things that you might record in there, ways that you could add detail to your recording. But at its core piece, an antecedent is all you need. What's the setting? Um, it was a transition to a different course or a different uh, topic. Uh, the behavior, you threw a pencil and the consequence. Um, everyone laughed. Who knows, right? But you're just going to record those things and you're going to do it a lot and you're going to start to look for patterns. Remember, it's anecdotal. It's not experimental, but it's still highly informative. Thank you.